story to tell. The Super Sonic T7 Red Hawk, produced by Boeing, will become the main training aircraft of the U.S. Air Force. After nearly half a century of training in the U.S. Air Force, the T-38 Talons will eventually be retired, replaced by the T-7 Red Hawk training aircraft. According to Boeing, the T-7 Red Hawk will be the new advanced pilot training system for the U.S. Air Force, which will train the next generation of pilots for decades to come. Northrop T-38 Talon was the first supersonic trainer in the world that has been active since the 1960s. Although still doing well, since the 2000s, the U.S. Air Force has realized the need to have a new trainer to meet the demands of the new generation of fighters, which is far more complex than previous generations of aircraft. In 2003, the TX program has been established, a competition for the United States Air Force to buy a new two-seat jet trainer. A series of competitors participated in the competition, including famous names such as Leo Lato with the M346 base T100, Korea Aerospace Industries with the T-50 Golden Eagle, Boeing and Saab Group with TX, and Sierra Nevada Cooperation and Turkey's Aerospace Industries with a new design. In September 2018, TX was chosen as the winner. The new trainer is now renamed T-7 Red Hawk as a tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen who painted their planes terrorist red and to the Curtis B-40 Warhawk, one of the aircraft flown by the Tuskegee Airmen. About 350 aircraft are expected to be altered to replace the T-38, but further purchases could boost the overall purchase to over 1,000. T-7 Red Hawk is a product of cooperation between Boeing and Saab. The first images of new generation training aircraft were released in August 2016. A single engine aircraft with twin tails and a pair of high-mounted main wings. Like other training aircraft, Red Hawk is designed with tandem seats under a glass canopy. The student will sit in the front while the instructor behind with grid wheels on all sides. The overall design of the T-7 exudes a perfect aerodynamic look. The slender nose at the front of the narrow fuselage, the air intakes are below the main wings, the retractable tricycle landing gear. Red Hawk is powered by General Electric F404 afterburning turbofan engine, providing 79 kN thrust with afterburner. The training aircraft can reach a maximum speed of 1,300 km per hour, equivalent to supersonic speed, fast enough to train but does not make the student pilot and conscious due to G-force. The aircraft has a range of 1,839 km, a service ceiling of 15,240 meters, along with a rate of climb of 170 meters per second. Currently, only two T-7 training aircraft have been created for demonstration and test flights. It is expected that by 2023, the first Red Hawk will be handed over to the U.S. Air Force, preparing for the replacement phase of T-38 Talon training aircraft. Last year, the service awarded Boeing a $9.2 billion contract to build its next aircraft for training pilots. The service has committed to buying 351 T-7A jets, 46 simulators, and associated ground equipment. My video of T7 Red Hawk ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.